Hey guys, Dan Fool and Mr. Great, Dan Dan for the Great. Just a short one. Because it's really hot right now. It's unbearable. In the whole of UK. It's unbearable in work. It's unbearable in this room right now. Thank you, phone, for beeping right now. But um, I was in work today. And Rich, you know, the one who always makes me go through doorways first in those horror games you watch. Rich. He's emailed me during work time, by the way. During work time, Rich. How dare you. How dare you? But anyway, he emailed me a link to Metro. Now, Metro is like, well, everyone knows Metro. I don't know if it's the most reputable, is that the word I'm looking for? Reputable uh, online news media source. I mean, are there are any of them? But we're not going to get into that. But he sent me a link. And the headline is, it's quite shocking. A ghost has been spotted lurking around in James May's Our Man in Italy. Our fans are spooked. Now... I'm getting in on this before you see this pop up on every single bloody top five channel in the next couple of days as James May sees a ghost. For those who don't know, James May, first of all, where have you been? But if you really don't know, James May is one of the trio of, uh, you know, with James May, Richard Hammond, James Clarkson, James Clarkson, Jeremy Clarkson, of previous Top Gear fame. And then obviously they left Top Gear, Top Gear got cancelled, it was never shown on TV ever again once they left. Fact. And then they went on to Grand Tour. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I've been a big fan of theirs for a long bloody time. Since the late 90s, probably, early 2000s. I know two of them weren't in it in the um, the late 90s and early 2000s. Well, 2003. Right, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. The point is, uh, James May is the sensible one out of the trio. Richard Hammond, no, I was going to say he's a sensible. He's not sensible. James May is the sen sensible one. He's... They nickname him Captain Slow because he always takes precautions. He always thinks things through a bit too much. He's a very sensible thinker, James May. But anyway, um, on... I'm uh, completely going off tangent, this man. In the news today... Now, I haven't seen this Our Man in Italy. I don't know if it's a cooking show or it's just James May walking around Italy. I have no idea. I haven't seen it. The link says, A ghost has been spotted lurking around in James May's Our Man in Italy and fans are spooked. And then there's a picture. I'm not showing you because obviously I should. There's a picture right there circled something mysterious in the background. Obviously, can I make it larger? No, I can't. What the hell is that? So yeah, I'm going to read the article and there's like a little clip down below we're going to get to. It's going to be fun. Uh, the Prime Video sees the, fr the Prime Video series sees May travel from Palermo to the Dolomites and explore everything it has to offer, from food to culture and sport. One thing fans may not have been expecting, though, is what that appears is what appears as a, to be a ghost stepping out of a grave. Is he in a graveyard? I don't know. Okay. Standing in the ancient city of Pompeii, okay, I suppose, upon mass graves, May is explaining how the city was wiped out when Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, but fans were distracted from what he, sa he was saying by an apparition in the background. A faint ghost-like figure seems to be moving about behind May, walking from the grave, while the person who shared the clip on TikTok was convinced, TikTok, was convinced there's some form of spirit spotted, others were more unsure. See, the, the, the problem is, I've, I've seen the clip, by the way. I've seen the clip. Oh, gonna one. Definitely You'll see in the background now. I'm going to zoom in for you lot. Where is it? There it is. Can you see it? Yes, you can. For those new here, I, I'm not really a fan of TikTok. For those new here, I have a scientific board, which I haven't pulled out for a while. Because it's full of science and knowledge. Okay. This is the TikTok uh, science, scientific, fully scientific um, certified board I pull out now and again when I'm talking about TikTok and it basically explains. It's, it's like a, what do you call a flow chart, right? Is it real? Is it science? No, it's at the bollocks. And that's how you scientifically explain TikTok. But fair play to James, because like I said, he's the sensible one out of the, the trio. He goes on to explain. Before I go, you know, obviously this is probably... This, I'm, in fact, this, what's his name? DJ Brooksy. Let's have a look at his TikTok page. I bet he's got bloody millions. There you go. 187,000 views on his TikTok. There. So 100, 187,000 people have watched that TikTok video as him saying, look at this ghost. And I'm going to say out of 187,400 people who watched that, 187,300 people probably believed every single word they said, he said in that video. Or he showed, I should say. 
Because you know what it is. TikTok. The TikTok, like, they... I'm not going to get into TikTok. But anyway, so going further down in the article, I'm going to go further. And then, and then we're going to go explain some stuff. Stuff you've already seen me explain a million times, but we'll go through it again. It goes on to say, some viewers suggested it was poor editing. And that it actually was a real human who had been walking around behind me that hadn't been fully cut out from the clip. Others stated they'd seen another ghost-like figure in a different scene, but May has previously shut them down. <laughs> so James May tweeted about the, uh, the the video going around. My thanks to everyone who has pointed out the ghost in episode 3 of my new Italy series. Nobody saw it at the time, so it's either a real ghost or more likely, but also more boring, just a bit of digital file corruption. Key words there. File corruption. It's exactly what it is. It's artifacting, basically. Now, you've, you've seen me harp on about artifacting so many times so many times are probably boring it but it's usually of low quality like uh, cctv footage ring camera footage just shite quality cameras but in this case it's obviously i wonder if i can find the exact scene oh, oh man in italy problem is now look i'm researching this james may uh, italy episode three and it seems like people are inputting their own ghosts now this it's gone viral it's gone it's already out of control that's what happens when you should put bullshit up on tiktok it goes out of control and then people see it as fact or people start making jokes and then those jokes turn into fact. That's the way TikTok works, unfortunately. That's why I don't like TikTok. Because <laughs> one of them, this reply year, oh shit, hang on, sorry. This one year is another clip, supposedly, and shows another ghost in the background. There you go. But funny enough, I just saw another video of a ghost who looks exactly like that same ghost in this one. It's the exact same ghost. That's weird. It's the exact same ghost as you see in that car park. So what's going on? Well, this guy, this nosition, noisition. I had a quick look at his Twitter. He, from what I can gather from his replies, he's taken a piss and he's added in, right? <laughs> That's one from what I gather in that particular clip. The other clip, I don't know who that is. That was like two days ago. Obviously inserted the ghost clip again. I don't know where they got it's probably like it's probably a royalty free ghost clip or something which you, with the png background so you can take out the background and just insert it into any video i don't know it's obviously just people having fun right since the obviously the clip of the original episode do you know what now i'm wondering is the actual original clip real or is it just someone putting in bloody ghosts <laughs> <laughs> See now, this is the problem with the internet. You don't know who to bloody believe, man. I'm genuinely wondering though, right? I have Amazon Prime. I gotta check. Okay, this is interesting. I I had to check the episode on because I got Amazon Prime Video. I had to check. This is interesting. So what is going on here? Now this isn't artifacting. This is not artifacting. Okay. I don't know. Can I show this? I'll probably get bloody copyrighted, wouldn't I? I can't show you, look. There you go. This is... <laughs> Alright, I can't show you. You're just going to have to take my word or look it up yourself. This scene here, where is it? I found it on... Again, hopefully I don't get bloody copyrighted for this. Big, my f big fat head. Alright, this particular scene here where I said it looks like it's inserted in for a laugh. Right, right there. That little ghostly figure right there. Is actually in the episode. It's actually in the episode. That that is not artif artifacting or digital corruption. That is one hundred percent something inserted into that particular clip. Okay, now I gotta look at another part. Where's the other part? The the dude with the taxi guy said. Where is he? Taxi driver, whatever. Episode four, it's fifteen minutes. I have a feeling this is an editor having a giggle, and it's a clever marketing strategy to generate social media buzz. Fun little Easter egg. Great. This one, that there. Like I said, it looked like the, the, most, the exact ghost inserted. I'm going to check now episode four. <laughs> I'm going to check episode four. This is interesting now. Because I had to stand in front of the artists and say whose picture I liked best, which was a little bit. All right, I can see it. I can bloody see it. How can I show you? Right, I can see it. I can bloody see it now. I know what it is now. It's the it's the program makers taking the piss. It's basically what it is. So if I show you this, I can't show you the high quality version, unfortunately, because it won't allow me to record it. But this is the version which is put up on Twitter from that noise dude. 
Just right there. Boom. Now it looks pretty bad by there, but the original episode, which is up on the Amazon Prime, is obviously high quality. And it's a dude in a white robe with a red sash. You know the red sash that goes down the guy? And do you know what do you know what that is? It's that. That's what it is. He's probably the good he's probably not smiling like that, but that's that's exactly what you see in those episodes. So basically, mis that's that's mystery solved for me. That is absolutely mystery solved for me. That is that is just the program makers just taking the piss. Like the dude on Twitter said that it's probably like a viral marketing thing. Or oh, it's just having some fun. Obviously, the ghost you see is always dressed in ancient robe Roman stuff. And obviously the, the program is set in Rome, or Italy I should say. It's set in Italy. And you can see one in episode 2, you can see one in episode 3, and one in episode 4. And it's always the same ghost, walking in the background, with the same white robe, with the same red sash. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. My initial thought of its artifact, and James May himself, cheeky little bugger, where is he? He also said, it's, I think it's down to digital corruption. Right there, digital corruption. Jesus Christ, what's he doing? You bloody fibber, James. Look, it's like everyone's tweeting the ghosts. Oh, that's brilliant. Even James May is in on it. Is he in on it? Or is he just, or does he genuinely not know that the editors are putting in little creepy ancient Roman ghosts in the, in the back end of his uh, show right now? Does he know? James, if you see this, let me know. <laughs> I think that's an interesting little rabbit hole we've just gone down by there. I genuinely, when I first saw the clip in work, like I said, I saw a little tiny window like that. I didn't really look close. I thought, hmm, just looks like an artifact to me. And I was going to go on a long explanation of artifact and depth of field with cameras. And now I don't need to. Because it's all, it looks like it's all in almost every single episode of that show. The same ghost walking back, walking back and forth with the ancient Roman dress wear on. So there you have it. Viral marketing or editors taking the piss. One of them is right. They're probably both right. <laughs> I think that's interesting. I, it's very rare that you see a program do that. So I don't know, it's it's interesting how they did it. And I, I, do, I do wonder, does James May know? Is he in on the joke or does he not realize that when they ask him to just stand to this, stand in this side here, James, so we can see the entire background. No reason, no reason. Just stand there and talk. There you go. But anyway, interesting. But the thing is now, you can guarantee no one's gonna look into that. You know, unless they've gone down that little rabbit hole, they're just going to see that one TikTok video and think, oh my God, it's fact. It's fact. There's a bloody ghost in the background. It has to be true. And that's what happens with TikTok and any social media in general. But anyway, I've enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave a sub if you're new to my channel. I do this quite often. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And bye for now. And James, if you haven't seen this, I'm a big fan. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. But anyway, I'm hungry. <laughs>